Hello everyone, this is the installation tutorial for Realm of Thrones version 6.2. So, we need a few things. You can either download this mod off of nexusmods.com or you can download it off modsdb.com. The files are the exact same, so click on this, click download, or click on files and click download. You will need extra mods though. You can install them through Steam Workshop or if you click manual download here, open these two options up. You will need Harmony and UI Extender. Uh, the file is around 10.1 gigabytes, and depending on where you download from, it will take a long time to download. So while we wait for it to download, what you want to do is go to your Banner Lord. Properties, Betas, you can either select None, or you can select 1.2.12, which is the last update before, obviously, the War Sales DLC this fall. Once that's installed or updated, you click on Installed Files and Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will ensure that your downloaded version of the game runs smoothly with no hiccups. So, all we have to do is wait for the download and we'll continue on to the next step. Now, with my download being done, there's a few things we need to do. We need to right click on it, show more options, properties, and click on this button called Unblock. Unblock, apply, and OK. This will unblock the files. So for those who are running the game and running into like rot.dil not loading, that's that will solve your problem. So next, I am using 7-zip. So for me, I'm just going to go to 7-zip and extract. You can also use WinRAR. You can also use Windows Extraction Tool. Depending on your computer and how fast your computer is, this will take uh, seconds or two minutes, depending on how fast your computer can process the file sizes. So while this does this thing, we're going to go click on Properties once again under Steam. We're going to go to Installed Files and click Browse. That's going to bring up our uh, folder for the game. We need to click on Modules. So if you've downloaded manually the mods that I showed previously in the video, you extract it the same way as ROT and you install it here. But if you use a Steam Workshop and you downloaded it there, it's automatically installed and you don't need to worry about it. So now with this extracted, we open this up to the ROT folder, double click to make sure there's our contents. You highlight these and you drag them into this here. And also again, depending on how fast your computer is, it will take a few seconds or minutes. We'll be right back when this is done. Now, as you can see, I have these four mod modules installed. So next we're going to click play. Now we're going to make sure our mods are in the correct order. I also do recommend you get mod configuration menu, just to make things a lot easily, easier. This is what I usually run, Harmony, Butterlib, UI, Extender, and Mod Configuration menu. Obviously disable any mods that are non, not related to ROT. So you want ROT Core, Content, Map, and drag it in this order. Then click Play. And depending if this is your first time running the mod, it may take a few minutes, could take 20 minutes, depending on how fast your PC is going to render the shaders. Same thing with the Warhammer mod. So a good easy way to check is if you click on your taskbar, open up Task Manager, and see if your CPU usage is above 5%. If it's above 5%, you know your game's loading. If it's below 5%, you know the game's crashed and start from scratch. Example of this, while I wait for it to load on first boot, installing this mod, showing this is a live demonstration. As you can see, my CPU usage is around 82% with 4 gigs up in v and RAM being used, dropping up and down, showing that it is loading the shaders. If my game has not crashed, I just have to wait approximately X number of minutes. So I'll be right back when that's done. Okay, so the game has launched. So we're going to go into the realm, and once again, this will also apply to your CPU usage, obviously. So we're going to sit here and wait for it to load, so I'll be right back when that does. And as you can see, there are five minutes of installation, obviously a bit longer, probably 10 minutes max. You can have a working game. Obviously, I don't have any audio playing right now. And because it is your first time, obviously, running shaders as well, your character customization will take a bit longer, but 
as you can see, the game does work. If you have any issues, you can either visit the official ROT Discord, or you can visit my Discord down below, and the community will be gladly helping you out. But I always do recommend joining Carolina Warlords, Carolina Reapers Discord. So stay tuned and enjoy, and enjoy 6.2.